Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we are on passage from Indonesia to Timor Leste. We see some dolphins dancing all in a line, get close but not too close to a water spout, and arrive at some remote islands where we swap food for coconuts. You're not heavy enough. <laughs> Once we made sure Catalpa was nice and secure, it was time for some coconuts. We were super lucky with the weather here. For most conditions, you wouldn't be able to stop. There is no protection from swell or wind. So in the strong trade winds, it would make it near impossible for a yacht. There's so much juice in them. Juicy. Yeah. <laughs> We've got some coconuts and we're going to take some food back over for them because the guys on the island, they don't live there, they, it's got a little camp. It's a bit Do I like gooey? Mm. That is gooey, but... Without it. Oh, no, that's right. Perfect. That's like about how Sarah liked it. Perfect. Yeah, I like it. Is there water in it? Yeah. Yeah, it's gone. We gathered some food for the guys on the island. We got some biscuits, fruit and chocolate and took it over to them. This island was like something out of your dreams. When you think about sailing in the tropics, this is what comes to my mind. our new friends and they were very happy with our trade. They even offered us some turtle eggs where we politely declined. I'll try a lot of things but sorry I can't eat turtle eggs. We headed back to the beach. While we were gone, a fishing boat had come in and anchored not far from us. And the fishermen were coming ashore to collect some water and coconuts. Because of the remoteness of these islands, we were super keen to check out the underwater life and reef. And it didn't disappoint. These islands were 100 nautical miles from Ambon, the closest big island, and in the middle of the Banda Sea.
And as the sun went down, we were excited for tomorrow and even more excited when we realised we still had air in our tanks from before our compressor broke. Yes, we will get to dive here. Time to go diving. So we kitted up. Mummy decided she wanted to snorkel instead and we headed off. And down we went into the clear waters. There were so many fish. And this pretty well camouflage moray eel, getting a clean by all the little fishes. There was plenty of little reef sharks, schools of fish, and even had a dog tooth tuna, Daryl, follow us for most of the dive. And this got Dad excited. And we hadn't seen so many turtles since Australia. But Dad couldn't stop thinking about our new friend, Daryl, the tuna, and wanting to invite him for dinner. Oh, I mean, to be dinner. I wasn't too good at playing hide and seek. I can still see you, buddy. This looks like brains, don't you think? Colours down here are incredible. And to think it's more vibrant in the real. But this shot really captures some of its beauty. That was a bloody good dive for our last dive. Till our compressor gets fixed.
and Grandma enjoyed drifting along the surface too. I wouldn't mind being stranded here for a while. If there was waves, it would be my kind of heaven. We just couldn't seem to stay out of the water. And can you blame us? Look at the water. While the tide was high, we wanted to go and explore some of the other islands. So because after scuba diving, you need to have a break, before you go diving again, we thought this was a good time. And when I say diving, I mean free diving. And we came across this little island and had it all to ourselves. around the island took all of five minutes. Only one problem, no trees, means no shade. So Bella decided to build a shelter and Lee wanted to capture it from the sky. This is where Catalpa is anchored. Taj still gets nervous when Dad flies too close, understandably so too. What a find, it's not often you find a pair. It's time
time to leave as the tide was dropping quickly and low tide would have been a long walk. Are in the boat? The girls are walking. There was enough water, just. So we got back in and got back easy enough. So join us next time as Lee goes on the hunt for his friend, Daryl, the dog tooth tuna, and see what else we get up to before continuing on to Timor Leste. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, press subscribe. Also, if you want to see more live updates, you can follow us on Instagram at Sailing Catalpa and Facebook. Or to see more and to support the making of these videos, become a patron. Links are in the description down below. Biggest love to you all. Bye. Oh, it all comes all thanks to you all. to y'all This song shake